Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and this is another vlog and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today uh, what's been going on personally uh, hobby wise channel news and news around kickstarters and shit like that uh, where to start personally a lot has happened from the last time mm, I mean a lot of uh, my pro laptop got messed up that's why I didn't uh, upload for some time uh, so I had to reinstall all my programs find all the crap I had so it took a little bit uh, me and my wife stopped the therapy uh, and we gathered all the paperwork and applied for adoption so we're waiting for that this will take a couple of years probably before we get any results uh that's privately nothing especially still lockdowns still masks still me not giving a fuck so that's <laughs> it hopefully everybody's okay considering that this Pandemic is still running large. Nurgle had fun. Uh, uh, what else? Hobby wise, uh, what have I been doing? We've been mostly assembling models, which you will see on the table. Still working on my orc commission. Didn't have some real hit the wall when it comes to painting orcs, but I'm back again. So we have huge parts backlog that I need to finish of these commissions plan is to finish before end of the month most of it I have still coming uh, uh, what do I have I have Nighthound coming in I have High Elves that I done re uh, last year end of last year I have coming in uh, Gargantuan Squigot, uh, Battle Fortress, Chinook, two Chinook Warcoptas, uh, what else? Uh, two Squigots, uh, and nine Knob Bikers that I need to convert. They have a Ford Roll part, but I still need to make them like uh, big choppers and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, for the Squigot and Gargantian Squigot, I have to convert like a uh, super cannon and stuff like that, so that will be fun. Still has it arrived, so that's it. Painting wise, my wife painted some buildings for Titanicus. I painted a bunch of Titanicus models, which you show, should have seen on the, my recent showcases. One part of that has already left for US. Uh, I also had some terrain that I finished, also went to the USA. Uh, I sold uh, sold my old Vampire Count's arm, it's I think about 20, 25 years old. A shit, about 400 models, so that went to Finland, uh, sold some um, Mechanicus models that I showcased recently. I think that went to Canada. That's it. We still have a lot of work. Uh, Channel-wise, what's my plans if I manage to make myself do it? Um, tutorials. I need to finish a couple of tutorials. I did lose a lot of tape on my uh, recordings. I had about five tutorials recorded. Just needed to edit them, but when my computer died... Um, I lost the footage, so I have to do everything all over again. So that's fun. Always demotivates me that when I lose footage like that, or I don't record it correctly. Uh, what else happened? Uh, what else I'm going planning to do? I'm also planning to do maybe some introduction video, like starting in the hobby, but I still have to tweak out how to do it, uh, how to play videos, I'm probably going to do 
but I would like to do it with painted models but that would be a little bit far-fetched so we'll see uh, board game chaos I'm planning to continue but considering amount of commissions probably next month I'll start it again didn't have much views but I'm still going to keep, continue just to motivate myself uh, I'm also planning like a challenge uh, to paint to try to paint a huge demon army in uh, in one go so uh, like a 24 hour 24 plus hours of uh, painting I'm still tweaking how to record it uh, do I, will I have enough um, stick memory because take a lot of uh, recording time uh, so I have to plan it up ahead so don't lose not to lose that footage uh, if that video goes okay I might go do another one like doing a hundred box walkers in one go that would be fun <laughs> you see all the models in there uh, what else I'm planning? Uh, some terrain building tutorials. But again, it all depends on my time. Because work, commission, and then channel if I manage, and then work around the house. So, what the fun. Plus, I need to renovate most of the house now if because the social workers will be coming in, checking out is everything okay. What I need to fix are the room the will the the child have uh, adequate room space so, and the rest of the stuff so that will be fun. Uh, what else? That's it. Now let's go to the news. You enough of my crap. Let's go now. Uh, we had the GW preview. We had uh, previews before that. We had uh, we have pre-orders. We have Kickstarters. So let's start. So we had before the preview, the GW showed off uh, Vampire Lord, Vampire Lord or Hero, uh, which looks nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the hair, the uh, the wing. Uh, uh, no, no brain freeze the hair flowing and the bats like holding the hair I don't know what the fuck is going on there but oh head swap will definitely change that uh, then we have uh, some kangaroos luminate kangaroos so that that was like ooh. well it's different so it looks nice maybe when you see it in real life it might be even better uh, then we get the preview that was in GW. Most of you saw it, so let's talk about it. We get, we get, we get uh, for Sisters of Battle like that Paragon War suit. It looks okay. Maybe the angle is not perfect, but I just don't like the hands like they're outside of the armor. But just me. Maybe if I see it in a different paint scheme, might uh, help out. Uh, then we get the Kill Team box that they announced. It was Parach Nexus with uh, some Necron Barricades. We get uh, Cap uh, Space Marine Captain, Heavy Intercessors, Necrons. For Necrons we get Chronomancer and 5 Flayed Ones. Now the question is how much it will cost, probably won't be cheap. Uh, 48 Necron terrain, so that's doors, barricades, and stuff like that. For Adeptus Titanicus, we get Vormaster Titan, and he looks f huge. Uh, better angles would be better to see, well, but it looks cool. Definitely fun to paint, it's bigger uh, than the Warlord, so it, I think it's almost. 10 15 mil bigger, but don't call me that. Base is the same as I noticed, and that's it. He has shitload of weapons. I can see it, but you have pictures around. Then we get loyal, we'll get Loyalist Legios book. Uh, this doesn't 
too much excite me because it's probably just a compendium of all the legions together maybe some new uh, but, uh, but for Luminate Lord we get that uh, Saviret, Lord of the Seventh Wind, like Fox with a bow and arrow, really looks nice, more angles will be better, but really looks nice. Then we get Endless Spells, Blood Wrack Viper, Blade Wind and Heart of Fury. Ooh, the Viper looks excellent, uh, Blade Wind is Blade Wind, and Heart of Fury looks like... Uh, like Heart of Fury. <laughs> of all three, the Blood Wreck Viper is my favorite. Even for if you're going to use it just for DD &D or anything, it looks great. Then for Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm, uh, they announced the Crimson Court, and fuck, these models look fucking awesome. Sorry for swearing, but they're just so good. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, you get four characters, like different uh, houses. Yeah, yes, well, yeah, yeah. Morally, yes. One is like uh, von Karstein. One, the lady one is, let's say, Lachmia. Uh, and the fourth one is Trigoi. And let's say the first one was a blood dragon. I think like something like that. Really looks nice, looking forward to these models. Uh, Pre-order was up, like Dark Angel Codex, uh, Data Cards, uh, Combat Patrol, where you get uh, uh, Dreadnought, Primaris Dreadnought, uh, never redempted Dreadnought, uh, Chaplain and Intercessor, Inter Intercessors and Inceptors. So, doesn't, doesn't ring, uh, ring my bells. How do you say? Doesn't excite me this box too much. Uh, we get the Storm Speeders, uh, we get the Blade Guard Veterans, uh, Primaris Eradicators. I mean, it's just. Um, how do you say? Same model, just different poses, more options. There's really a lot of stuff you can put on them, which is great. Uh, for Diarchasm, uh, they got pre order was uh, Karga, Karax, Ravagers. And I don't know how. It's four Chaos Warrior and a Sorcerer. The Sorcerer looks like, like an old edition one. If I find a picture, I'll put him up there. Uh, Blood Ball has some, I think it's from Forge Rolls. Sk Skrull Half Height. It's like a dwarf undead and Gretchen what's hair. It's like a banshee, which is not bad. Uh, how do you call them? Uh, uh, for Gotir, we get on pre order. Lo, what do we have on pre order? Um, we have, we have, we have two characters, I think. I think I wrote it down. So it's. Uh, let me check. Maxon and Helena. Maxon is like a dwarf, a dwarf tinker or something like that. So like an engineer, so he has like mechanical crap around him. And Helena is like Joan of Arc, has banner and some peasants with her, which looks cool. Uh, turning the paper so I see what I was planning to say. <laughs> uh, what else we have? Uh, Kickstarters. Yeah, we get Tinker Turf terrain it looks nice it's more i think like cardstock and some plastic parts there was a previous one which was not bad but i didn't take didn't uh how do you say back it and look there's a lot of stretch goals a lot of stuff you get for the box uh, if i remember i'll put the link down down below and uh, there is also Primal the Awakening. I won't back it. It looks nice. It's like big ass monsters, and you fight. Like there's like the board is a round one. You have catalog, and you can run around the monster and kill him. Card base, so not bad. Uh, creatures look great. 
Heroes I don't like too much because of their big ass weapons, but that's my personal taste. Uh, and that's it. I think that's all the news I have. I think I've been talking too much. Yeah, I've been talking too much. <laughs> now guys, let's go to the table and show you what's been going. What's what I've been up to. My English is not good today. I apologize. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. And this is all the stuff I've been doing so far. I'll go slower. Somebody was complaining that I had shaky camera. So let's go slow now. What's been going on here? I have two sets of Indomitian sets I assembled. So we got bunch and plus the intercessor is probably so unboxings. Uh, converted Lucius the Eternal. Here's Anakin dead. Going to convert it like a corpse. We have some Vansar models here. We get some bo goblins. We get some Legion stuff. Here is the demons I've been talking about. And then I have Dead Guard, about 53 Marines, 100 Pox Walkers, and a bunch of characters, which is fun. Oh, let's go around. Oh, sorry. And for the painted stuff and what's been painted i have the commandos wait, wait, come on, focus. Uh, different color schemes for each unit that's what the client requested uh, so you can see all of them uh, we have some uh, Tyrant Siege Terminators finished. We got the Slave Ogren Gang finished. We get some Ambuls finished. Here the terrain that's finally finished. This was painted by my wife. So I haven't didn't do anything. I just showed her what colors to use. The rest is on her. This will be a showcase soon, so watch out for that. And the Titanicus that you saw mostly has been showcased already, so you can see it in details. And still on table is this 3D printed stuff. And that's it. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Do you have any questions? What you like to see more on the channel? Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. And thank you for watching. Stay grumpy.